What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about The Mummy Return. The Mummy Return is basically, essentially is sort of the sequel to The Mummy and this will follow uh, you know, the, the, the cast from the first beginning but then here in this uh, Mummy Return we, uh, the, the couple have a kid and then, uh, and then the, her brother and this is it's just essentially about them sort of finding I'm um, sure you know or and finding I'm um, sure and then finding the uh, the uh, the the bracelet of the king scorpion and uh, and then also involved with Imhotep and Anax from the moon so it's where the story starts with the story involved so well, let's talk about what I did like about this movie. I like the the, the the little backstory that we get with King Scorpion and who, who he is and what he did and the, uh, the, 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 the pact that King Scorpion made with Anubis and then the, the, the siege. I love that sequence. It's very, 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 uh, it's very King Scorpion, but it's very Anubis. It's very the brain of death. It's very, it's really, really good. I think it's really well convey well yeah like I like Imhotep here I like Imhotep a little bit more here not as much as the first one but here you get the sense that he's uh he's still powerful he still have that power he's still able to you know take bullets and stuff like that so I like it here I like the uh the bet the, the backstory between uh, Anax on the moon and Evie I like their their ancient history you know, they they were, uh, I guess you can say, Anax in the moon would be the wife of the, I would say Seti or was it Zan Ramsey. It could be Ramsey. I can't remember. I think it was Ramsey's. I could be wrong. But she is the daughter of Ramsey. And they're, that's just the whole connection between Imhotep and Anax in the moon. And then... That's it. I, I like that that backstory. I wish they would have fleshed out a little bit more with uh, O'Connell or her husband into the story. That would have been more interesting. Maybe she is uh, Evie's um, a lover in the past, but he isn't in there. I wish they would have, you know, I'm going to say that for the con. So what else did I like? I like the, the, the journey that they take. I like that it's supposed to be sort of an adventure. I like that. What else did I like? Uh, I like the uh, the I like this case scorpion uh, mythos. I really like that a lot here. I like the action towards the end, even though King Scorpion doesn't look great. The CGI doesn't look great, but I like the concept. I like the idea because it's very very. When you think about the Egyptian, you have a head horrors and then a human body, you know, or the spink, you know. Uh, so it's very, very, it's very Egyptian, you know. I just think that the CGI didn't quite do well. So, so what I, I don't like about is, uh, about this movie is obviously the CGI of King Scorpion. I think it could have been done better. Maybe not because that when the time when it came out, the CGI wasn't that great. So. But some of the concept idea of for King Scorpion were really, really, very, really, very really interesting, very Egyptian-like, and I wish they could have gone the Egyptian route of, you know, they, they, what they should have done with made prosthetic or animatronic of the King Scorpion. That would have been more interesting. That would have been more captivating. That would have been more. That would have show us the the the. the the Egyptian mythology, you know, of a human scorpion, well, a half human uh, infused with a scorpion. That would have been life of the Egyptian with a live animatronic. Without then, like, um, uh, there's a lot of uh, bantering. I wish the script was a little bit better, a little bit more, more fleshed out. Here's kind of flat. It's just doesn't really build the, uh, the, the character except for Evie's character and her backstory. I wish there was a little bit more on that. Even a little bit more on King Scorpion. I know there's this movies that come out to talk about King Scorpion, but those movies are not the kind of King Scorpion that we want to watch. I hear it's very, very, it's kind of the uh, mytho uh, mythical, myth mythical warlord. 
mystical warriors that uh you know that the Egyptians feared. You know, I thought I would love to see it, maybe a little bit more. And then what else? Uh, I would like to see maybe a little bit more uh, Imhotep's just play into all of this, you know, in, in 3,000 years ago. And how he sort of know about King Scorpion and there's King Scorpion mythology, that sort of thing. So I wish we got to know a little bit more of that. Uh, what else? Uh, that, that's it. That's the only thing I can really think about. What I don't like about these uh, the, the movie, obviously it's a little bit long, and it uh, it doesn't have all the great action sequence I'm looking for. It has a little bit there and there, a lot of fights, uh, hand to hand combat, but it's not great. But it does okay for the the, the film or the, the the period that they live. It's like the early forties, maybe the uh, yeah the early forties and fifties. So it's okay for what it is. So, what was the rating I get this movie, guys? I give it a 6 out of 10. I certainly enjoyed it. Uh, it is fun. It's entertaining. It's, it's an, an adventure. We get to see the character that we like. Evie, her husband. Forgot the kid's name. I like Emotet, Knox in the Moon. The Egyptian uh, King, King Scorpion's uh, mythos. I liked it, even though they didn't quite delve deep into it. So... Those are the things I like about this movies. A 6 out of 10 guys, uh, please like, thumbs up, share, browse and subscribe to my YouTube channels. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. Please do so. Thank you so much and take care guys. Bye bye.